Ten Mandela effects that are sure to have you wondering. Hi there, and welcome to Box Factory. In today's video, we will be discussing the Mandela Effect, a relatively new phenomenon discussed by keen observers of trends in marketing, history, and society. The Mandela Effect refers to a situation in which a large mass of people believes that an event occurred when it did not. The term was originated in 2009 by Fiona Broom. After she discovered that she, along with a number of others, believed that Nelson Mandela had died in the 1980s, when he actually died in 2013. Before we get started, don't forget to click like and subscribe, and make sure to comment any Mandela effects we may have missed in this video below. 1. Monopoly Man Interestingly, Monopoly Man has never owned a monocle. Monocles, or goggles, traditional glasses but in this case worn over a single eye, have become synonymous with Mr. Monopoly, but he never actually wore them. He has never been officially pictured wearing a monocle. If you can find proof or residue, we would love to see it below. You must be the Monopoly guy. Hey, thanks for the free parking. 2. Fruit of the Loom According to Fruit of the Loom, its logo never featured a cornucopia. Now, if you're wondering what on earth is a cornucopia and why is it creating so much confusion, we have it all covered for you. Simply put, the thing in question is an ornament container shaped like a goat's horn, which is created in a woven fashion similar to a wicker chair, but in the case of a cornucopia, or horn of plenty, the horn is filled with fruits. Here's what everyone remembers, and here is the actual logo. Mind blown. 3. New Zealand A Reddit user recently wrote, This could be an example of my poor geography skills, but I could have sworn New Zealand was to the northwest of and slightly closer to Australia. We have to admit that we too were surprised to discover where New Zealand actually sits on the map. Like this. This is the original map. Am I alone in this? Have a look at the map yourself and see if you got this one right. 4. Berenstein Bears While we're on the subject of Mandela effects that totally blew our mind, we'd be remiss without mentioning that sweet country bear family, the Berenstein Bears. Wait, do you think we've hit a typo? Many report the family name spelled Berenstein with an E-I-N instead of an A-I-N. But no, they are the Berensteins. Always have been, and likely always will be. 5. Mirror, Mirror Magic mirror on the wall, what is the next amazing Mandela effect to exist? Yes, you heard that quote correctly. Casual viewers and die-hard Disney fans alike will remember the iconic quote from the classic animated film Snow White. In this quote, the evil queen confronts the magic mirror about Snow White. All of them. Oh my god, I can't even say that anyone who hasn't seen Snow White has heard this quote at least once. That could probably be said about everything Disney does, but how well it's known. 6. Luke, I am your father. In a galaxy far, far away, the Mandela Effect exists. Yes, the phenomenon has even infiltrated Star Wars. While even the most die-hard of fans quote a quintessential moment in The Return of the Jedi as Darth Vader saying, Luke, I am your father. That's not what he said. In actuality, Vader said, No, I am your father. 7. Sinbad in Shazam Sorry, 90s kids. Sinbad has never starred as a genie in a movie called Shazam, despite what you think you recall. The fact has not stopped multitudes on the internet from believing in this fictional movie. For instance, there are some people that have a memory of seeing a movie called 
Shazam starring Sinbad as an irrepressible genie, even after it's pointed out to them that they're probably thinking of a movie called Kazam starring Shaquille O'Neal as an irrepressible genie, especially because a movie called Shazam was never made. But what if I don't remember either movie? You win! While traces of this invented film have popped up over the years, it's only in the last month that confused nostalgia for something that never existed has boiled over into a frenzy. Eight. We are the champions. With so much renewed publicity around rock icons Queen since the release of Bohemian Rhapsody in 2018, music lovers are taking a closer look at their hit We Are the Champions. It became an accepted notion that lead singer Freddie Mercury passionately ends the song by singing of the world. But that didn't happen in the recording as evidenced by the lyrics. Sing it back in your head and tell me how the song ends. And leave a comment below because this one gets me every time. Do you want a chocolate? I could eat about a million and a half of these. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. 9. Forrest Gump here is a cinematic head-scratcher for you. In the highly popular 1994 film, Forrest Gump brought a lot of attention to a delicious box of chocolates. While most movie lovers remember the quote as, Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Gump actually says, Life was like a box of chocolates. I have seen this movie a hundred times and could have sworn the quote was, Life is like a box of chocolate. So what is happening here? Before we get into it, here is our contest for the week. To enter, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave your favorite Mandela effect below, and any proof you have. The winner will be selected and receive a $50 Google Play gift card. Okay, so here's the explanation. Alternate dimensions merging due to CERN, what we feel are Mandela effects, are actually residual memories that we have retained. While the rest of our visible universe has changed, all matter, time, and history has been rewritten. And while it is 99.99% .99 accurate as we remember it, some things must have gotten mixed up. Call it a glitch in the matrix, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe not. A more likely explanation for the Mandela effect is false memory. Before we consider what false memory means, let's look at an example of the Mandela effect phenomenon we are describing. Who is Alexander Hamilton? Most Americans learned in school that he was the founding father of the United States, but he was not president. However, when asked about the president of the United States, many people mistakenly believe that Hamilton is the president. Why? Given a simple neuroscientific explanation, the memory of Alexander Hamilton is encoded in the brain region that stores the memory of the President of the United States. The means of storing traces of memory is called an engram, and the framework that connects similar memories is called a schema. When people try to remember Hamilton, the nerve cells are tightly connected and they remember the President. This is an oversimplification, but it shows the general process. One theory underlying the Mandela effect comes from quantum physics, where instead of a timeline of events, it relates the idea that reality or the universe could arise and merge with us. In theory, this would allow groups of people to have the same memory as timelines would change when transitioning between different realities. You're not the only one who finds this unrealistic. Unfortunately, the idea of an alternate reality cannot be disproved. That is, there is no way to disprove that these alternate universes don't actually exist. This is why such bombastic theories continue to gain momentum among the Mandela Effect community. We can't prove it's not real, so we can't rule out the possibility. Hope you guys love this video, and we love reading your comments, too.